today we are going to see how to operate two ac motor uh, for load sharing that means uh, based on 24 hour timer these are two we do the load sharing control of this video that means if uh, we have we have a uh, two motors we need to operate the two motors for simultaneously first one is on second one is off so like that whatever you want we we easily made for this control diagram to make that one so here i use for 24 hour timer for full day how to schedule the two motor and how to we make the control uh, for dual starter method this so here i draw for one control diagram how to we make the uh, two ac motors uh, see here so this one is fire interruption that means uh, the any of the building uh, uh, fire will occur that time the fire interruption cut the electrical supply so that purpose we need to giving fire interruption and then fuse this fuse is a production of control circuit uh, any of control circuit we need to make for uh, hand operation and auto operation so here i made for hand and auto uh, so in hand we are take for two selector switch that means s1 s2 2 we operate the motor directly for start and k1 and k2 the k1 means the motor 1 and k2 means motor 2 so this one is neutral this one is phase so here a1 a2 coil and a1 a2 for second motor so this is a simple method of your operate for motor for d oil method so if you we if you need for stop button we are adding in stop button also here but no not need for now so now we are going to make auto operation so here auto operation we need to make 24 hour time because of here do did load sharing on this day this video so we need to make for 24 hour timer but 24 hour timer got supply for auto operation uh, this one is reserved timer maybe the nowadays the 24 hour timer will came for reserve that means 100 hours reservation hours that means 24 hours continuously run up, up to 100 hours without supply so here we are giving timer t1 to or r1 that means relay 1 and then t2 to that means timers NO coil for R1 and NC coil for R2. We are giving coil supply. So here we select for R2, the 24 hour timer will be activated and T1 and T2 automatically operate the simultaneously. The T1 is close at the time of timer selection and the T2, T1, NC will open at the time of timer selection off. The timer selection is on, that time is really. Uh, T1 uh, NO is going to close so here we made R1's NO sorry R2's NO for S2 and R1 is NO for S1 so here not required for NC here also we made for uh, NO so we need to change here because of we are already made for NC so uh, we are make here also NO so we need to change here so here also NO is ok that means the first relay will be that means the 24 hours timer is activated the R1 will be activated so relay will be operated and the uh, motor 1 be operated at the time of timer selection and then this one is indication the motor will be ran or stop so there is one indication lamp so maybe that indication will not good so now i make for separate indication so the k1 side we make for indication for run for k1's no conduct and here so same like that we make for k2's 
and more contact on here for motor to running so these two after that we make for NC on here so maybe we made for trip trip indication so trip indication means the fault time uh, occurs so here we need to add the NC so here trip 1 for and trip 2 for motor 1 and motor 2 these two trips will be occurred based, based on OLR, OLR is N, NO that means the OLR is activated and the NO is going to indicate the trips so that's our purpose we need to make for trip if you have any doubt please comment here maybe this is for very simple method so that's why I didn't explain for more of this one uh, thank you for watching don't forget to share my video don't forget to like my video thank you